performance that you were looking for? How do you guys think? Yeah, um, I, I thought our energy level was high, um, and that's what we talked about with the guys is like – making sure, you know, that a young team didn't come and out-compete us and outwork work us. Um, and I thought we did a great job from the beginning of the game uh, of going out, competing um, at a high level, executing the game at a high level. Um, you know, obviously not perfect, but uh, I thought we were really, really good and got contributions from a lot of different people. From a defensive execution standpoint, where did you – see you guys execute the game plan today? Uh, I mean, I thought we did, you know, in spurts, we did a good job of really protecting our paint, um, you know, guarding the ball, keeping it in front of us. Like when we were hurt, it was because they were driving and able to get to the paint and then force uh, kickouts and corner threes from our weak side. So I thought for the most part, um, you know, we did a good job defensively. Um, again, built a lead, got a little loose, but uh, the effort was there. Uh, the attention to detail was there. I mean, it's who they are. Um, you know, I thought Jared, you know, set the tone um, and was, you know, physical on the interior, uh, both sides of the ball, um, you know, contesting, challenging shots, um, you know, doing a great job sharing the ball, helping us finish possessions. I thought he was dynamic. And same with Evan, um, you know, the way they wanted to play us in pick and roll, they were aggressive. Uh, and our bigs are elite when they catch the ball in the pocket and capable of making all the plays. Joe. Uh, during team's hot streak in December, you guys were jumping on teams early, 40 points in the first quarter. Uh, how much did that propel you on? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, it says a lot about us, um, and you can kind of tell the game and how it's going to go, how we perform uh, in the first quarter. Um, if you take a look at our record when we win the first quarter, um, it's phenomenal. So, um, you know, it's a message to the group. You know, we got to get off to great starts, uh, and that starts with us always with our defense. 36, I'm sorry, uh, 38 assists on 46 makes. How, how good was the ball? Uh, I mean, that's, again, when we're at our best, that's what we do. Um, you know, we've had some elite games of sharing the basketball, um, you know, creating for other uh, for others. Um, but it just speaks to, again, you know, how hard it is to guard, you know, and how many open shots it creates. So uh, I haven't had a chance to look at the potential assist numbers, but I know that's, you know, that's high as well. Uh, this was a chance for Sam Merrill to come home to Utah and, uh, he provided 18 points off the bench. Uh, what did you think of his performance and his contributions? Well, I thought Sam, you know, does kind of what Sam does. You know, he's consistent in that. Uh, he's a dangerous threat on the offensive end of the floor. Uh, if teams make mistakes and he's the recipient, you know, the basket's going, uh, it's going in. Um, but the pressure he puts on defenses from the perimeter, um, you know, is high level. And then, you know, I think undersold is his ability to compete on the defensive end of the floor. He does a great job of keeping guys in front of him. He's a physical player defensively, not afraid to put his chest on guys. Um, so I thought he was great tonight. JB, how much of a point of emphasis was it to get the bigs involved, especially early in the game? Uh, it, it, you know, we try to take the play that's there, right? And we have enough talent on this team that if we just make the simple play, uh, you know, defenses are going to have to make tough choices. So they came out in the game and they were, um, you know, hotting us or trapping us in pick and roll. So the play was just make it to the big and let the big guy do his thing. Your numbers this season with and without Donovan are very, very different, obviously. What, what was working so well tonight, even though you didn't have him? Uh, I think, you know, us finding the triggers uh, and then, you know, making the next right play. And that's typically, you know, what he does is he creates a lot of triggers because of how teams have to decide on, you know, how they want to guard him. So I thought our guards did a great job uh, to start with, um, you know, of just finding the trigger quickly. And then our bigs did a great job making the next decision. And then the next decision learned to a ch uh, led to a chase. And now we're aggressive. They're in a scramble. We're sharing. We're getting Wide open looks for one another. Sean. Karis obviously stepped in for Donovan tonight. How pleased were you with kind of his aggressive approach and attitude? He was able to get to the line, attacking the room repeatedly. Yeah, I mean, Karis, you know, he's big time. And I've said it before, like, Karis is a starting guard in this league. Um, you know, he just happens to be in a place where he's willing to sacrifice to come off the bench to balance the units out and play, um, you know, sacrifice for the team. Um, but, you know, he's elite at putting pressure on people. Uh, his game is like off rhythm, so it's hard to contain him and keep him in front. Um, and again, when he's attack minded, you know, he's a, he's a great finisher, but he also knows how to share and make the right read also, which is what we need. Anything else, Mark?